So, um, and how does the carbon credits system at the moment fit into a, you know, what Heal are doing? So we're exploring that at the moment. We're new to it. Um, and we've had some conversations with some carbon credit brokers, so specialists in the UK, um, about what would work for a rewilding site. And the reason it's kind of unknown right now is that the carbon credit system is geared more to woodland creation. So there are loads of grants, loads of interest at the moment in tree planting. Mm. So that system is currently geared up to that idea of we plant this many seedlings, you know, we know because of the density of the woodland, what size the trunk is going to be. We can calculate accurately how much carbon there will be. Yeah. So it's not designed right now for rewilding, which would be you know, a natural regeneration approach to um, reforesting. So there's some interesting work being done by some small startups in that, in that area that we're speaking to. And we'd love to be one of the pilot sites for it. Um, but why it's trickier is I suppose it's a bit more experimental because you can't really predict the rate at which these trees are going to regenerate. You don't know necessarily how many deer are going to be in the area and how, you know, are going to be nibbling away at your seedlings. Yeah. That might be a problem, it might not. So it actually needs to be much more evidence-based. Um, yeah. And so there is a group trying to um, have applied to the carbon code to get the system changed. So that there is a new way of quantifying the carbon, which isn't based on, I planted this many trees it's actually based on the data from your site so they would go do 3d imaging using satellites to quantify how much carbon you've got um ideally in the soil but also just in the plants themselves and also in all of the leaves and every aspect of the tree not just the trunk which is the way that the carbon uh, the woodland carbon code currently cal calculates it and the reason it's like that is because so many woodlands are actually commercial forestry so it's, you know, it works for the majority of woodlands right now, but we're hoping that it will shift in the future to be a bit more adaptable for projects like ours. Can we give those guys a bit of a name check, that, that startup? Yeah, so the people we've been speaking to the most are Tree Economy. Yeah. So they are a young organisation full of young people, bright graduates from Imperial who have worked in business and have had a look at... The carbon credit system and thought hmm this doesn't actually necessarily apply to everybody and what's really interesting is that they have had very positive conversations with people that want to buy carbon credits but who really want a biodiversity tag along with it so they want to offset the carbon from you know their business whether they manufacture something or they want to offset that carbon but they also want to put on you know on the label of whatever they're selling we've helped restore beaver wetlands or you yeah. know help to reintroduce eagles somewhere so they really want that tag and they're willing to pay a premium for it so there is appetite out there which is really exciting yeah 